Hello everybody. This is continuation to RB32I base instruction set videos. In this session, I'm gonna cover logical and arithmetic instructions. So the load store instructions, which is highlighted in green here, have been covered in the previous video. If you haven't watched, I highly recommend you to watch the suggested video above here. And uh, I'm not gonna cover the next branch instructions in this session, uh, but uh, following integer computational instructions which covers arithmetic and logical instructions are the one which I'm going to cover in this session. So let's get started. So I have grouped the arithmetic and logical instructions into two groups. So the group one covers the add, subtract and set less than instructions. Uh, it's more like an group of arithmetic instructions and the shift and the bitwise operations I have grouped into group two and there's more like a logical instructions and there's a third group you can see below which has the move and uh, shift right logical and sub immediate these are all the instructions that are missing but uh, these are common in other platform but there are RISC-5 don't have this. We will see why RISC-5 don't have this most common instructions. So I'm going to start with the same skeleton which I used in the previous video. So let's start with the group 1 instructions which are And I'm just going to reserve SLT for later. So the instruction format goes like this. Operation, destination register, and operand 1 register, comma, operand 2 register. For instructions that takes an immediate value, it goes like operation, destination register, and one of the values taken from a register, another one is an immediate value. Okay, so add immediate t0, comma 0, comma 4. So it should add a register with an immediate value and the sum should be stored at the destination region which is T0. So these are all the registers here and if you see 0 is a register name for X0 okay so and it is hardwired to 0. So this is equivalent to move an immediate value to a register okay that's why risk 5 don't have a move immediate instruction because you can emulate move immediate with this add immediate and you can also emulate move register value from one register one register to another using add because for example add t0 comma t1 comma again t0 comma 0 comma t2 so what this will do is add 0 t2 and it will store that into t0 so since this is 0, it is like moving the value of T2 into a T0. That's why you don't, uh, so you can even emulate a uh, move a register value from one register to another using add. Okay, now let's get back to what I want. IDI T1, comma 6. The result should be T2 equal to T0 plus T1, which is equal to 10. After this, T2 equal to T2 minus T1, which is equal to T1 
two on the six. And so she'll be four. Look at that be. Okay, stop the debug session and restart. Strip in. So you can see the registers value getting updated on the left side. So T0, T1, T2, these are the registers I'm using here. So T0 is 4, T1 is 6, after adding T2 is 10. Now after subtracting T2 should be 4. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So now if you see risk phi also don't have sub immediate that is like subtract immediate value the reason is you can emulate subtract immediate with add immediate like this t2 comma t2 minus 3 so if you invert the sign so the addition becomes subtraction that's why it is why i don't have subtract immediate instruction as well okay so now let's jump into the SLT which is like set less than in instruction third instruction in the group one is the SLT so I'm just gonna add that in here so SLT stands for set less than okay this is a this is to compare The format is almost like the same. SLT. Let's first move some value to T0. T0. Oh, come on. Four. T1, come on. Six. So what this should do is, the result should be t2 equal to 1 if t0 is less than t1, okay? Else t2 should be 0. So that's why set less than, set the destination register 1 if the first operand is less than the second operand, okay? I'm just going to... Build. So, oh, okay, the session is stopping. Stop the session. Build and T zero is four, T one is six. So now S four less than six, yes. So this should be set to one. So T two is set to one. Okay. Now there are three more variants on this SLT. Okay. Let me list that as well. SL SLTI, which is immediate. And unsigned okay let me list in the proper order so less than unsigned set less than immediate and set less than unsigned and immediate and sign so set less than set less than unsigned set less than immediate set less than immediate unsigned okay so these are the Three additional variants so totally there are four variants of set less than instruction so now if both the operands are positive then it's easy to find which is less and great in all the cases like signed and unsigned it would be the same but let's take an example 
where it's it's more complicated like for example that let me do a sign so SLT by default this is sign so string comma comma t1 so here so it should be t2 equal to so t0 is 2 so t0 is not less than so here t2 should be set to 0 whereas if it in the unsigned case t0 is 2 and what is the value of t1 once it's loaded into that t1 I will I'll show you so I'm just gonna build stop stop the previous t uh, okay t0 is 2 t1 is okay you see minus 3 so if you write the minus 3 in the hexadecimal 32 this is the value okay so now SLT, the default one, harness the sign. So after this, T2 should be 0. So that's OK. So T2 is 0. But let's see what happens here. OK? If you unsign, the T2 is set as 1. The reason is, so the T0 value is 2, whereas the T2 one, T1 value is a 32-bit big value. So if you it won't it will consider it won't consider the sign so it will consider the absolute value of this big 32 bit number so definitely 2 is less than this number that's why it has set 1 okay so we call SLT and SLTU so the SLTI is nothing but let's just immediate let's change as now TI So destination is just T2, and I'm just gonna check if T0, which is 2, is less than 1. So here, so is that it is less than 1? No, so it should be coming. Let's see what happens. Stop me running the debug session, build. So immediate as uh, so, so if you see here after this it becomes zero. So now you have t zero value is two, and is two less than minus two? Okay. It has set one because if you see the minus two value, if you write into the hexadecimal thirty two, it will be something like f instead of d it's gonna be e and that's a big value so 2 is definitely less than that big value that's why it has set as 1 okay so that's it so we have covered the group 1 instructions of uh, the